Ah, sorry, a little sniffles. Yes, it is cold out here. It's early in the morning. I'm trying to wake up with you guys. I'm here before the store opens, and hey, it is good to see you guys. How you guys doing, man? I've missed you so much. I want you to look at something. Look at this. Look at that right there. Yeah. That's asphalt. In the middle of February in Ohio, man, no freaking snow. This is great. And look at this. We've got some inventory for sale, including, bam, a freaking Z06. More on that in just a second. But let me tell you something. Having these cars in stock for sale right now is a little bit of a hassle on how they came to be, but it's also a blessing in disguise. We're going to talk about that in today's order update. I'll give you an update as far as what is for sale, uh, how to contact me so we can do some business so you can get out there and have as much of the Corvette driving season that you possibly can because that season's kind of starting right now. Again, we mentioned in the last video, Don in New Mexico. This is shipping, I, I think, today or tomorrow. Uh, the red Z06 kind of came, uh, yeah, more on that in just a second. Also want to thank a past customer from 10 years ago in Hawaii. Lawrence is getting this beautiful riptide blue hardtop convertible. Congratulations, sir. Great to do business with you again. I appreciate how swiftly you moved, and I know that you're going to love the new C8 for 2024. And I've got some other cars. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to update you on what's available. I'm not going to stand out here and sniffle with you guys. Let's go inside. Let's talk about the order constraints. If you actually have an order being released in this cycle for February for a 2024 Corvette, all right? That includes E-Ray, Z06, and Stingray. you something this rapid blue coat mm, toasty <laughs> all right if you've got an order being released in this cycle keep in mind as we continue to remind you if your order is already released you're at 3,000 status or higher these constraints that we're going to talk about do not affect your order whatsoever so in regards to the February order cycle, let me just tell you this, uh, we're a little bit hopeful because this says cycle one, but this is more of a somber report for me because in regards to E-Ray and Stingray, our store got zero allocation and one Z06. Uh, we are hopeful, uh, needful of a cycle two for those of you that have been so kind and understanding and waiting to place a custom order for your Corvette. I'll update you uh, probably next Thursday or the following as soon as I get that report from Chevrolet, all right? So if you have an order being, let's do this quickly because I really don't want to talk about this because I don't have any orders. I don't have a stake in the game this month. And that's kind of why, like I said, it's a blessing that those cars are in stock, but it's kind of a bummer that those cars are in stock because of what we're going through right now in orders. Okay, let's talk about E-Ray. Uh, not every dealer got allocations this month. It was very limited, very controlled. Uh, looks like that's going to be the case for the remainder of the 2024 model year, which we don't know yet when that ends. Stay tuned. I'll keep you up to date on that. But if you're lucky enough to get, looks like a couple E-Rays are finally starting to go through the system. Uh, there's been orders sitting in the system since last September, my goodness, and they're not yet built. Um, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. When I talk about the inconsistency on availability, well, there you have it right there before your bink, very eyes. But if you're lucky enough to get an E-Ray in this cycle, keep in mind only 35 of you can get the FA6 Level 2 Carbon Fiber Interior Trim. And that's it. That's the only constraint that they have on E-Ray. Now, the biggest thing is, is just trying to get the actual unit to order. Let's look at Stingray. Here we go. Here's the one that has bit me in the butt uh, a number of times. It is that beautiful uh, new forged wheel, the Q9i all gloss black forged aluminum wheel. It is available, but a controlled quantity. So it is a constraint, but it's not zero availability. You hear constraint, and then you think, oh, that means it's not available. It is available in controlled quantities. Only 238 can be ordered in this cycle. In the last cycle, I talked about the dismal situation in regards to the lack of availability for that wheel. And I had a guy that just said, hey, Rick, I got to tell you. Um, uh, not necessarily you, he goes, but tell Chevy to take my order and shove it. Uh, I've been waiting six months and I can't order this wheel, but yet you make that wheel in the midnight gray, you make that wheel in the machine faced with a dark gray inset, you can't paint it black. He goes, I'm spending X amount of dollars and I get that. 
You know, some people have been very flexible and said, you know what, I'll, I'll opt for another wheel. Or guess what, I'm going to do an aftermarket wheel. And I'm really close to putting something together with an aftermarket wheel company that i got to stay off their website because uh, <laughs> I already got some cool wheels. But it's like, oh my God, there's some really nice wheels on there. And many of you are opting for that option. Remember, we sell a tire and wheel package that actually covers aftermarket wheels now. It does not cover, though, carbon fiber wheels. Anyways, uh, the wheel situation has been... Um, Frustrating for all of us, but I'm on the front line, so I'm, I'm getting shot at and and uh, cussed at and it, it is yeah. So there you go. Q9i is uh, 238 for this cycle if you got an order coming through. Uh, this has been on constraint, complete zero availability. If you're doing the 5DG Tech Bronze package with those goldy uh, type aluminum wheels. Uh, the package itself is also zero availability. Uh, here we go into the Z51, non-Z51 suspensions. This is frustrating for me too. And you gotta remember, when you see these controlled quantities in, in the constraints, it means for those of you who say, you know, what the hell's going on? It's a couple of different things. Either it is a parts issue, or they're forcing you to order something that they may have too many parts of. Ah, that's starting to make some sense now, doesn't it? Still sucks. Okay, anyways, uh, non-Z51, Orders going in this cycle, 488 are available for the country, and Z51 suspensions available 596. And that bit me in the butt too last cycle because I got to the point where I had four or five orders that were ready to go, and they wanted Z51, and I was out of Z51 availability. I had to order non-Z51s. One more constraint for Stingray orders in this cycle. It is the high wing in body color, zero availability. So I guess now, because it's not listed here, you can get it in carbon flash, but they can't paint it in the red or the white. My goodness. Z06 has one constraint, just like E-Ray, because they share so much. It is the FA6 interior level two carbon fiber trim, and that is limited to 250, unlike E-Ray, only 35, 250 for Z06 in this particular cycle. So that's the uh, constraint report for February. Again, cycle one orders. We're hoping. Please, damn it. For cycle two, I've got so many good people waiting to actually custom order their Corvette, and I don't want this moment to be spoiled on parts availability. Let's talk about the cars that we have in stock. I'm going to show you a listing up here now. If you're interested in those cars, please contact me directly via email or text message. I've been buried on this phone for the last couple of weeks. It is all about doing business right now because we have the opportunities. The hiccup that we're having right now from not having allocations for the February one cycle or only cycle will affect us right in the middle of the season sometime in April. And I guess a little bit of the frustration why these cars are available, you have to keep in mind, these are cars that were ordered for customers. People that waited sometimes a very long time on the list. Lots of questions, great conversations on building and customizing their Corvette, and then all of a sudden, I think they, I think they forgot that they ordered a Corvette. <laughs> You didn't buy a pair of pants that didn't fit right. You waited, you allocated, we released a custom Corvette order. Now I understand there are situations in life that pop up that make you not able to take a car, but all of a sudden, what the heck, I got six, seven, eight cars out there that are available. So um, it's a little wacky. We've not taken deposits on these orders. We may have to change our policy at the dealership because of this, because of the allocation implications that it puts us in right now, trying to earn and move forward and, and have more availability for new customers coming into the marketplace, or many of you that actually buy from us over and over again. Sometimes that can be stopped because of the lack of availability. So I do look at it as a blessing in disguise because of what happened in February, because we have cars right now going into season going into the winter time eh, that would that would kind of suck but right now it's a great opportunity in these cars because there was a thought process there was long conversations these cars are ordered right man so first let me show you a couple of pictures and the specs on the z06 that just came available last night and then i'll give you a listing of the other cars that i have right now again i do these videos to inform you guys sometimes we'll have an opportunity to entertain you but seriously so you and i have an opportunity to do business together so i ask you to please contact me via email or text message and i'll follow 
follow up. We're not gonna do business in the comments. Text me, call me, email me. That's how we're gonna do business. If you go to the store level, it goes through a call center that handles calls for 15 stores and I may, in most cases, not get that call. So I do wanna work with you guys. I don't mind taking the time to do the videos to inform you about you know order crap and all that kind of stuff, but really truly to have fun so you have an opportunity to reward yourself. So thank you for that understanding. Thank you for your support. And seriously, for, for those of you that know me now into my 29th year, know that I am, and I feel that I am, uh, and you've told me that I am, I am more to you than just a retail representative. But I've been reminded this past week that um, to some of you, I am just a car salesman. So let's do business. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon.